everyone. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Uh, I um, want to do a playthrough of this recently released full game called Subnautica. I tried recording two other playthroughs. First one, the uh, graphics were too high and the video ended up being really dodgy. And kind of chugged a little bit. It still does, but just less. Um, second playthrough, I had no in-game sound. I recorded for like three hours straight. Oh, such a pain. I have to do it all over again. But that's fine because this game is... It's super fun to play. Now, I am... I've got my buddy here. That's Fudge. He likes to sit on my lap while I play games. Eh? Yeah. Now, Subnautica is a uh, survival game. Uh, let me just start a new playthrough. As you saw, maybe the other uh, playthrough I had was three hours. Damn. Uh, we're gonna go for survival. I just click this because we need to load. While it is loading, um, I, uh, I I saw this game first uh, from uh, another YouTuber that I uh, follow. His name is uh, Bricky Orchid Eight. Um, maybe you know him, maybe you don't. Uh, if you don't, you be sure to check him out. Uh, he is really funny. He does uh, several different games, and uh, yeah, I, I, he he taught me a lot about uh, League of Legends, which is how I came into contact with him, basically, how I found him out, uh, uh, is the So You Want to Main videos are hilarious, uh, and then I saw him play this game, and he was very enthusiastic about it, so I, yeah, I was like, I need this game, well, with my birthday coming up, I decided to give myself my own present early. So here we are. The premise of the game is we are in a spaceship and the ship is about to crash. Thankfully, there is such a thing as an escape pod. Fine. Um, yeah, it's, we're fine. No, we're not fine. Actually, we're far from fine since we're the only survivor, as far as I know. Okay. Don't know how much time has passed since the ship crashed. Probably not that long. And this little pod is our only way to survive right now. Let's kill this fire. Here we go. Tink tink. It's the small little details in this game that make it so amazing. You have suffered minor head trauma. Yeah, it happened as a child. Outcome. It really isn't. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Alright. So, this is the pod. Half of it's broken. We'll need a repair tool, as you can see. But our container works. In the container, we have some water. Uh, flares, which I never use, and also some nutrient blocks. And in this little thing, the medkit fabricator just keeps making uh, medkits for you to use. Alright, bottom left corner in the HUD, we've got the health, the hunger, and the thirst bars, and the O2 meter. Uh, for now, let's get. Nice and fed, yield up, ready to go. In over here we have our fabricator, but we've got nothing to build anything with. 
So first we'll need to go out and explore. Without further ado, let us climb this ladder and take a look at the gorgeous view. That will be the ship that we came down on. The Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero yeah. human life signs detected. Alright. Let's go and take a swim. You? And here we are in the shallows. Alright. What do we need? Everything. Because we have nothing. Let's pick up some salvage. That'll give us some titanium. We'll need that. Let's pick up some mushrooms. They're acidic, which means we can make batteries out of them. And what else do we have? What else? What else? Come on, come on, come on. Ah, that's the sound I hate so much. Oh, I always hate those. But it can give us this. Oh, right. Oxygen. <sighs> yeah, I've, my earlier playthrough, I had a uh, big oxygen tank on my back, which allowed me to stay underwater so long. I'm just not used to having to come up for air so much. Too bad. We lost the sulfur, which is uh, a good thing to have. And uh, the titanium, but no worries. Is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability oh, of survival has just on. increased more. To more, more, more. I want more. I need titanium. This is a nice spot, actually, to start. Okay. This game is so beautiful, isn't it? It's down here. That is quartz. Definitely pick that up. We are going to need a lot of stuff in the opening moments of the game. There we go. Titanium. <laughs> and seriously, the first thing we do need to get is an oxygen tank. to build. We we'll need to farm some materials. Salvage, yes. <sighs> what do we have? What do we have? Oh yeah, let's pick up some fish too. Because these, we can cook these in the fabricator. We need those for food and water. Bladder fish are mainly for water. This area is relatively peaceful, but you see those uh, oxygen. See there. those long plants over there. Um, that's a, a different biome. It's got bigger fish, more dangerous fish. Right now, the only thing I need to worry about is those tiny exploding things around the uh, sulfur deposits. They hurt like hell, especially if they blow up really close. Wait, this looks very promising. Hello? Hello? Ooh, nice cave. Oh, that's the sound I hate. Get away from me. Are you laughing at me? Bastard. Let's get back to the pod. 
get our hall on nice and tidy. Salvage can be broken down for more titanium. And the quartz can be used to make glass. And since we have the copper ore and the acidic mushroom, we can make batteries. The bladder fish will make us water. Nice. Good game. The while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Yeah, you don't want to eat poisonous or, uh, organs, right? Okay. Whew, nice. Now, let's get uh, a scanner. Or, yeah, a scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Okay, now just do anything in this game. We will need to craft all these basic items. Um, the repair tool is almost... Uh, we can almost make it. We just need some silicone, which is not that hard to obtain. Uh, we'll need another battery, but for that we will need more copper ore. Okay. Knife also requires silicone rubber, so we need silicone rubber and copper, right? Okay, well, let's do that. First, let's eat up. Uh, probably worth mentioning that the uh, cooked fish eventually degrades and the amount of um, food that they give you will decline. The nutrient block I believe does not do that. Space food. It's getting dark out so we need to see if we can find some copper for the battery so we can make a flashlight which is so useful and over here is where we get everything we need nice these like gigantic coral tubes they contain a lot of the limestone which has titanium and copper to build my O2 tank. Oh dear me. <laughs> Let's make one right now. Because if there's anything I hate, it's not having enough oxygen. Life with oxygen is just so much better. requires a little bit of titanium so it's really really easy to make yeah oh yeah fins we need a lot of rubber let's get our scanner out can scan pretty much anything wait what was the giant uh, one major problem about this game it's really hard to navigate, especially when it's dark. Oh, we're over there. Here we go. See, our maximum O2 is now 75 instead of 45, which is 30 more. Which is a lot better. This is extremely difficult without a light. I can't see the limestones. There's one over there. Please have copper. Nope. You? What? Yeah, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, we might as well go down there now. The 
glowy fruit things on those vines are just what we need. Take a few. Great. Now this is kind of a hostile zone. A little bit. See, someone's not happy. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello. No, no. Get away from me. Get away from me. Yeah. Now hopefully we have enough to make everything we want and everything we need to get a proper start going. We can always farm more if we need it. Right. We are already out of power. We no, we don't have that much. Oh yeah, we put it in a container. Duh. Take it all. Sadly, the fabricator has uh, limited power to craft stuff with. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with uh -oh. damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Yeah, this is this is bad, man. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment. Using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Now we can make a air tool, a flashlight. And I think we'll have to wait a little bit. Yeah. Okay, we got a flashlight and our repair tool. So let's just repair the pod. But we wait for the power to slowly increase back up to useful levels. Mm. There we go. You have one clear message. Survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Right. As you can tell, we are going to be waiting here for a long, long time. And. Yeah, okay. So, in our equipped inventory, you can see the fins that we just made from the rubber. This will help us swim a little bit faster, and the O2 tank is now the standard one. Maybe you just saw it when I was crafting stuff, but over here we have the high capacity O2 tank. We'll need silver ore for that, or well, maybe we'll find some later. That'll bump our oxygen efficiency through the roof. Okay. in the bank so we don't need it out don't need this either yeah let's eat the fish before it goes bad looks like water okay good 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 now we are all set to go on our grand adventure in the world and with this, we are ending the first episode of the Subnautica playthrough. 
and I will see you guys next time.